Hello everyone, welcome back to another video showcasing my AFP 400 fire alarm control panel. As you can see, the systems are all normal. The door is still missing, it's just because it's not on. And the cover for the LB is still missing. So clearly, I still have a lot to work to do on here. But, I did do some things. Coming out the panel, we go to our junction box. Coming down to our first device, which is now a Notifier LNG-1R, which is connected to the MMX-1 monitor module. And then below that, we still have the standard BG-12LX, or excuse me, NBG-12LX pull station. I can guarantee you 110%, this will never change, ever. Um, however, this will constantly be changing, and uh, yeah. Continuing on, I still have the wheel lock AS up. To the right of that, I have an LED wheel lock exceeder. I've been wanting one of these for quite a while. Finally got my hands on um, one here and it's just, they're really cool. I do have some red electrical tape over the horn um, after, beyond the cover. If I pop this off, I'll, I'll show you. As you can see there, I'm covering the, uh, the horn there and that's what it looks like without the cover. Nothing too fancy. That snaps right back on and there is the really cool LED. And then I have the detector still. However, someone in the comments, I forgot their name, told me how to properly label the detector. So I did that. Thank you. If you're watching the video, I appreciate your help. And uh, with that said, the system's pretty much the same, um, other than the fact that I turned on sync for this. So those, uh, they sync up and, you know, do their thing. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and pull the LNG-1R pull station. Here we go. Three, two, one. So the alarm has been silenced. As you can see, the pole station's pretty dusty. Um, well, you know, that's because it's not really used that often, but, um, you know, I uh, wanted to use it this time. So there you go, that's that. So we'll leave that kind of hanging like that. And uh, if we take a look here on the panel, it says pole station, conventional MPS. Um, so that's that. And then uh, we'll go ahead and re-alarm by pulling the BG12LX. And now let's go ahead and reset the stations. This one's uh, pretty simple to reset. So you turn the key, you just push it right back into place. Another thing before I reset the panel, just gonna show you what I did on the programming for the detector here. I, um, okay, let me see, I wanna show, oh, will it not show the trouble? Oh, that, it's interesting, it doesn't show the trouble when it's an alarm. Well, we'll reset that. I wanted to show you that I uh, reprogrammed this a little bit. By the time I get this back on, it's gonna go into triple. Okay, come on, come on. Let's, I knew it. <laughs> okay, anyway, so invalid reply on the smoke detector obviously because it's off the base, but as you can see, I labeled it FSP 851 detector because that's the model number. Um, so I did that and uh, yeah, there should be like a little groove that is supposed to, there we go. So that's on, that's working and that's it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.